Hey fellas, how are you and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and optimize your PC to get better performance in Woodring Waves version 2.2 dropped recently. This update has got a lot of instability in the games and I'm going to be exactly going through all of the ways you can fix it so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best windows settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and once you're over here, go down to personalization. In this section, you have to go to colors and then turn off transparency effects. These effects are surely CPU consuming in the background and disabling them will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. After that, go down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Game bar turned on consumes your CPU and RAM resources because it is an overlay service. Disabling that will help you as well. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and simply turn this thing on because I have tested it multiple times and game mode turned on has always given me improved performance. Once done with that, simply close your settings. Next step is compatibility settings and for that you have to head over to your file explorer and then go to the download location of your game. Find the Wuthering Waves J3O FH folder and over here you'll find all of the game files. What you guys have to do is head over to Wuthering Waves game and then you'll find wutheringwaves.exe right over here. Right click on that, head over to its properties and compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations. After that click on apply, click on ok. Then head over to the client folder, binaries, win64 and you'll find the client win64shipping.exe. You're gonna have to do the same thing right over here. Head over to the properties, compatibility, then click on disable full screen optimizations, click on apply and then click on ok. Next you're gonna have to copy this file location because we're gonna be needing it ahead. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Open your settings once again, then head over to the graphic settings right over here. You wanna have to enable optimizations for windowed games over here as well. Click on the advanced graphic settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. After that, click on the add desktop app button over here and then paste the file location which you have copied. Select the Win64 shipping file over here and then click on the add button. Once that is added, scroll down to find it, then click on GPU preference, select high performance over here as well. And once that is done, close your settings. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you are here in the visual effects panel, select custom and then select these options. Save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. These four options will help you to minimize the animations of your windows while keeping everything intact. All of these settings will help you to contribute in improving the performance of your windows. Once that is done, click on OK. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together and this will open up your task manager. What you guys have to do is come down to the startup app section and over here I would recommend you guys to disable all unwanted startup applications which you do not use right after the boot of your PC. These applications not only consume your processes while you boot your PC but even if you are not using the applications the services are running in the background ultimately degrading your performance. Disabling most of these applications will help you to improve that and also improve your booting time. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Once you are here select your local disk C and then click on the create button. Name it Wuthering Waves just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on the close button and then close system properties. The next step is Wuthering Waves V2.2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You'll find in 5 simple folders over here. Let us start with the first one that is CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. If you guys have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority and do the same with the Intel CPU priority. It helps you to set up the correct dword value to optimize the performance of your processor. Second one is RAM 
optimization which does the same thing but for your RAM. I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this one. Once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can always reset it back to default using this registry right over here. Third folder is the Wuthering Waves priority in which I have left above normal and high priority. To choose between them, I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is disabling unwanted services where I have left these services which are really unnecessary and help you to improve your performance. Simply double click to apply every single one of them and they would be disabled. Last is the programs folder in which I have left these three programs. Let us start with the first one that is clean temporary files. You wanna have to right click on it as administrator. Once this window opens up, you wanna have to press any key on your keyboard and it will start deleting all temporary files off of your PC. I highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then because it is a healthy practice. Next one is the MSI mode utility 3.0. You wanna have to right click on it as administrator. This simple software will help you to optimize the performance of your graphic card by changing the number of interrupts and its priority that your graphic card can handle. For that, you wanna have to locate your GPU and then click on the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority, you wanna have to select high over here and then click on the apply button. Once that is done, simply close the software. Last is the quick CPU, which I have left over here. You wanna have to install it and open quick CPU on your PC. Quick CPU is a very useful and efficient tool to help you to optimize the performance of your processor. To do that, what you guys have to do is select your power plan to high performance over here and then click on the active button. Then you wanna have to slide your core parking index, frequency scaling, turbo boost and performance all the way up to 100%, then click on the apply button. This will ensure that your CPU cores are running on full throttle and none of them are in the sleep mode. Once that is done, simply close this and now you guys can close your FPS pack. Next step is msconfig and for that press windows and R key together and then type in msconfig over here. This will open up system configuration. What you guys have to do is click on the boot section, click on advanced option, then choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. Click on the OK button and then click on apply. Once that is done, head over to the services tab and then select hide all Microsoft services. Then you wanna have to disable all kind of fan control service, Adobe update service, browser update services and all of the services that you feel that are not required or you do not use on your PC. Reducing the number of services running in the back background will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. Once all of that is done, simply close it and that should help you to gain maximum performance in your games. Once you're done with all of that, you guys can now drop into the game with the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head down to settings. Right over here, you have to go to the second option. Over here, you'll find your graphic settings. For the quality, keep it custom. Screen mode should always be set to full screen, but you guys can also go windowed mode. Click on the color settings, hit on the adjust button and for the saturation, I personally like 60. Click on the confirm button and everything is just more vibrant over here. Frame rate should be highest available. Vsync should be turned off. Special effects quality, you guys can go with low or medium. Both of them works fine. Shadow quality, strictly go with low. LOD bias, medium. Capsule AO off. Volumetric fog and volumetric lighting are a biggest FPS game changer. If you guys are facing a lot of stutter, I would recommend you guys to go off with both of them. Motion blur should be strictly turned off as well. Anti-aliasing should be turned on. Bloom on. Crowd density, I've gone with medium, but you guys can go with with low if you have a super low end PC. Enemy hit flash, I have gone with on, damage numbers on, physics based animations off, cutscene mode I have gone with letterbox, co-op teammate VFX on, wounded effects on. After that in the advanced tab you will find Nvidia DLSS. If you have an AMD graphic card you will see AMD upscaling, I would recommend you guys to enable that and for the super resolution go with balanced performance, both of them works absolutely fine if you guys are facing any kind of FPS lags or stuttering. Go with performance and once that is done, simply close it, go back to your game and that should be it. Your game should not be blocky but you guys can see the FPS are now stable and the quality is amazing. So guys that was it for this video, I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We're already close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you all. We'll see you in another amazing video until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.